Hi everybody, this is Gat Saad, just returned from a long walk in brutal Montreal heat, uh, so forgive the slightly disheveled look. Uh, I wanted to read uh, to you here uh, some uh, replies that I posted regarding uh, Richard Dawkins' uh, uh, recent tweet about fact checkers on Twitter. Some of you may know that Twitter has just instituted a new uh, mechanism whereby they fact check the uh, uh, you know how vertical a tweet is and just by magic it turns out that they are uh, fact checking with great alacrity uh, Donald Trump but probably this is just an algorithmic error uh, but in any case uh, I've already commented about whether social media platforms should be curating for us what is truth or not uh, and I will post at the end of this uh, clip the link to this earlier uh, clip that I posted. I think it was maybe a week or two ago. But in any case, it's worth readdressing the matter because if someone uh, of this, you know, the Richard Dawkins' stature is taking this position, it is certainly worth commenting again about the matter. So this is, I'm going to read Richard's uh, quote, uh, tweet first. So how could fact-checking ever be a bad thing? The only limit to fact-checking should be the time and expense of doing so. What honest, reasonable person could ever object to being fact-checked? Please support fact-checkers everywhere, including Twitter now. And then he posts a link. I don't know what it, what it was exactly to, to what. Uh, here's my response to Richard. And again, please note that uh, I have incredible admiration for Richard, both as a uh, popularizer of science, as a writer, as an evolutionist. So I say this with all due respect. But again, that's what in a free society we do. We often have to disagree with those with whom, to, uh, for whom we hold nothing but the highest of regards. So here's my rebuttal. I have to respectfully disagree with Richard Dawkins on this one. I am Jewish and I support the right of Holocaust deniers to spew their BS. They are clearly wrong morally, ethically, and factually. But in a free society, we allow idiots, cretins, and imbeciles to spew BS. Richard and I are both evolutionists, yet I support the right of creationists to spew their BS on social media, but not in a biology class. Evolutionary epistemology is the idea that knowledge is selected via a Darwinian process. In order for this process to work, there must be the free flow of information, including objectionable, imbecilic, and factually incorrect information. So, no, Richard. A social media platform should not have fact checkers. And then I tagged uh, my buddy Jack Dorsey. So there you have it. There is this instinct that when you think you're in the right, as for example, undoubtedly what motivated Richard, I can't read his mind, but he doesn't like Trump. And therefore, what's wrong with checking Trump if he spews BS? No. There's a higher principle here that transcends your tribal hatred. I despise Holocaust deniers, but the greater principle is that in a free society, I must support the right of the most grotesque of factually incorrect information to be spread. So I'm not suggesting we spread information that can cause direct incitement to violence. Of course, there are limits to absolute free speech. But the idea that there should be fact checkers in a social media platform where there is endless engagement, rapid flow of information, the velocity of the flow of information is astonishing. And that there is someone who is above us, who is the arbiter of what is a fact and what isn't, is just baffling. And that someone who is otherwise as liberal and as sophisticated as Richard Dawkins doesn't see this, demonstrates the extent to which tribalism can infect a brilliant mind. 
You don't like Donald Trump? Ignore him. Debate him. Silence him through not following him. But you don't fact check him because there's a lot of bullshit that noble prophet Barack Obama has said that was a direct murder of truth and I never thought that we should be fact checking him. Have a good day, everybody. Cheers.